Let's learn how to apply the following scenario into our uh, literature searching. So we have Sammy's mother, a two-year-old, whom you saw today for fever, calls for your advice on antipyretics. Sammy's fever has not been responding to paracetamol. The pharmacist advised her to use ibuprofen instead. She's inquiring which one of the two drugs is better in reducing Sammy's temperature. The first thing first is to identify what clinical query are we targeting. We're asking the question whether a drug is better than another one in the treatment. Hence, we are dealing with a therapy question. Now, we have to dissect our answer, our PICO. What do we have as a PICO? The P is a child with fever. The I taking paracetamol. Is better than ibuprofen or not? The outcome decreasing the fever. Now I want you to remember that PICO is not the only does serve best for the clinical questions, but there are also Eclipse mainly used for health policy and administration. SPICE framework, which mainly serves for social sciences. SPIDER, which is mainly for qualitative research. So it's not the only framework that we can be working with, with, but it is the best one for the clinical questions and hence this type of question. So now after dividing the concept, the topic into the PICOs or the topic into concepts as in a foreground question, we have to go and look into the best evidence now mainly we're targeting at the point of care so we're gonna look up medline how to look up evidence-based medicine there we select the first one by either clicking on it directly or on the box and then clicking on okay down either works so the first concept is the child do i select the child do I put it as a mesh or I select it from the limits? Everything that's in the limits, try to take it from there. So I start with the fever. I was mapped to the mesh. I click on the mesh to see if it's the, to be exploded or not. Yes, I would want to also take sweating sickness and fever of unknown origin. So I'm going to be exploding, which is the first column. In ABM, I don't start with focusing. If I find so much information or so much results, hence I would be getting back and focusing. But at this stage, no. I would keep it without focusing. Now, if I were dealing with EBM previously without EBM being very wide known, I would go about it without selecting the subheadings at this stage. But now, I can go and select therapy. And I click continue. Again, I'm aiming at around 30 records towards the end after combining all the records, all these, the concepts together. Not more. It's at the point of care. You have Sammy's mother wondering and asking. And you want to, to be as fast as possible in responding. Again, no researcher does it the same. Other uh, EBM experts would say no. I would indulge more and further. If I'm doing it as a systematic review, definitely. But at the point of care, this is how I go about it. Then, paracetamol. Would I order it or would I end it with ibuprofen, you think? It's an and because it's the intervention with the, uh, with the comparison. So, it was mapped to acetaminophen. I click on it to see if I want to explode it. Nothing underneath it, so I go on without exploding. And I click continue. Therapeutic use, for example. Administration and dosage. Or you can leave it without selecting any. Ibuprofen.
again I click on it not to be exploded all the drugs will have the same set of subheadings as in all the diseases again I can come and click therapeutic use or administration and dosage whatever is relevant in this context now I combine the three different concepts using an AND have I finished my search here no remember he's a child so I come to the limits additional limits and I select the age group to be all child and then I click limit a search am I done of course not unless I come to the additional limits and select the clinical query which is therapy in this case to be either maximum sensitivity maximum specificity or best balance of sensitivity and specificity specificity gives me the last number of results sensitivity is the highest number of results then I click continue then I'm not able to say that I have done an EBM search in only the therapy questions I'm able to select either clinical queries or publication types to be randomized clinical trials either or it's not wrong if you select both but nonsense to do that the only clinical query therapy question you can uh, select from the publication types from is the therapy question but let's be consistent throughout the rest of the clinical uh, questions and select from the clinical queries since I got 11 I'm gonna go with the maximum sensitivity you can go best balance now limit the search which is from here or here and there you go you got nine results how can I increase my search if I didn't find enough results one way is to remove the therapy I would want to select one without being it without being it uh, without choosing the subheadings and two and three let's try it now this way so instead of getting 11 I got 176 and then I go to the limits additional limits select both the age group and the therapy together either click limit the search from here or from above In this way, I would be increasing my search. I got 149 rather than 11. To decrease even further, I can select maximum sensitive specificity or best balance. I'm not going to be limiting by default the last subset, but I'm going to limit that subset number 7 to maximum specificity. And children. So instead of getting 149, I got 41, which is, I think, a fit between both the 9 and the 149. I hope you get acquainted more and more with using EBM because now it's not an option. You have to know how to respond to your patients with concerns. If I still didn't get enough results, what would I be doing? I would be removing the focus if I have selected any, which at this stage I didn't. I would be going to the higher mesh. I would be ordering with relevant meshes. And then finally, I would ordering with keywords, which I can get from the eye of the mesh or from your own knowledge as well. Let's apply the same in PubMed. Where would I go to the clinical queries in PubMed? It's here, under the find. As you can see, the page is divided into clinical studies categories, systematic reviews, medical genetics. What do I do here? I simply key in the terms. So I need to put an AND. The default Boolean is the smart AND, unless it doesn't understand it. And para do I click child here as well no I will take it from the limits but where's the limits you think uh, I got even more than the ones that I got in the medline why because in medline I was only selecting the meshes 
What does PubMed do? It accounts for both the meshes and the keywords. So I can read the systematic reviews about it. I can read the medical genetics results from it. And I can go to the see all. I'm not done here. The category is selected to be therapy, which is right for my question. But I'm not done here. I have to come. Additional filters at the age. Child. Show. This only shows it. But it does not select it, so I have to select it for it to be selected. So instead of 240, I don't recall, it became 214. Again, did I get the right results? I don't know. I have to come to the advanced, check whether they were mapped to the right meshes. So I do have fever mapped to the right mesh, acetaminophen for the paracetamol and ibuprofen so yes i do have the map to the right mesh so if i get so much what would i do i would decrease the therapy broad to therapy specific so i do the same thing or narrow here i don't have three groups like in medline i have two the narrow and the broad so instead of getting 214 results i got 51. for me to decrease further what should i do in the advanced, I can come and select only the meshes and ditch the keywords that are ordered with them. And I will get the same result that I got in Medline, which is 41. In the coming video, let's see how to tackle another clinical scenario.